Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 879. And if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to see how to do conditional formatting across sheets. Now I have status allowances and income, and that's the criteria that I want to use to highlight the intersection on a different table. So right now, it's got allowances to the right correct income, and it's married up here, so that's highlighted. If I change one of these inputs, notice this is the criteria that's determining conditional formatting on a separate sheet. So now this one is highlighted. This is the single. So we want to see how to do conditional formatting across sheets when criteria is on one sheet, and also how to um, have two different tables on two different sheets get conditional formatting depending on the criteria on this sheet. All right, so let's go over to these start sheets here. First thing is I want to name each one of these cells. I want this to be status, allowances, and income. A quick way to do it, instead of going to formulas, define name, define name, or name manager and create a new one, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3, create names from selection. I want to select from the top, not the left. Click OK. Now, watch this. When I click in the cell, it's called status. This is the name box up here, and you can see a preview. Now, let's go over here, and we're going to build a true false formula based on these three criteria. Now, I'm going to build, before I do conditional formatting and put the formula into the dialog box and keep it in memory so that it highlights, I'm going to build the formula and copy it over and down to to see how the formula is going to work, because the formula will be stored in memory. This little trick we do out here is just for us as we're learning. All right? Now, actually, there's three things. And I have an, uh, so three things. One is the cell up here has to be uh, equal to whatever's back on this. Uh, the next thing is we have to pick the right row. right? So I think for 500, right? It's got to be this row. And then we also have, I think, two allowances, so it's got to be this. So that should be the, the number selected, right, uh, formatted right there, so 15. Right. All right, so you ready? We'll do it's three things, one, two, three. Column header, row header, and then whatever's in cell A1. So we're going to use the AND function. First thing is easy. I'm going to click there. F4, is that equal to, now, I need to paste a name, F3. By the way, Control Shift F3 is what we use to name, uh, create names from selection. Control F3 opens Name Manager. And as we'll see right here, F4 to lock it, F3 is Paste Name. So that's convenient when you're making formulas and you can't remember all of your Names. Now I have the answer ones because those are on the answer sheet. And we are going to, this is status. So anytime that's equal to that, right? Comma, the second, that's either true or false. And we're going to have one, two, three tests. Anytime all three are true, that means please apply the formatting. All right, second one, I have um, a column header. So I'm going to click there and then hit F4, F4 to lock it when I copy down, but not to the side. So this whole, eventually this whole column here will get it, but when it moves over, the dancing ants will move to the one, the next allowances. Anytime that's equal to F3, my allowances. And then comma, the uh, hard one is going to be this uh, column here. We're going to actually compare it to the value over there, which is 500, but it needs to be within a range, because I could put 550, 599, up to, but not including 600. So we're going to do a lookup. So I'm going to say lookup function. The value I'm going to look up is F3. It is my income. So over there, it's 500, but it could be 550 or something. So I'm going to look up that number over there. That's the lookup value, comma, within this vector right here. Now notice the way it's going to work as a metaphor is it's looking up that 500 when it bumps into the first number bigger, then it comes back to this uh, row here. So it's actually going to return this 500. Maybe I shouldn't have started with 500 over there. But nevertheless, I'm going to hit F4. Now lookup, you don't need the column number because it always takes the last column. And since we just have one, it'll take that number. 
I'll go over and change it in just a moment to something different than 500. So there it is. It's looking that up. But oh, now it's got that. Now I have to say whenever that's equal to the row header. And I need to lock it one, two, three times. The column reference needs it, but not the row. So there's our one, two, three logical test. Close parentheses. Control Enter. I want to copy it over and down. Nothing but fences and railroad tracks. Double click. And then should we should get a true right there. So that's the 15. So notice we did it over here. Actually, we could go Alt OD any time. Alt OD. This is not necessary for our ultimate solution. I'm going to click there and F for it when that's equal to true. That's a relative cell reference, so it'll copy down and over. And then All right, so we can see that it's true. Now let's go over and change the, the number right here. This is a 575. We'll go over here. It's still got that. But let's just think about what's happening here. Up here, this piece right here, that income is 575. So the lookup's racing through here with 575 in its brain. It bumps into the first uh, number bigger and then jumps back here, returns the 500 to the formula. So this little thing right here will be 500, right, if I hit F9. And then it says, is it equal to that one? Well, it's false here, but down here, for this entire row, actually, it's true. But down here, the lookup, when I hit F9, boy, you can see it's 500. And then uh, is that equal? So it looked up from that 575 and got this 500. And then it's comparing it to that, so it gets a true. All right, now. I'm going to actually just scoop this out. Control C. I'm copying it in edit mode, escape. Notice when we created it, we created the same parallel range as over here from the active cell. So when I come over here and highlight this, the active cell, when I open up the dialog box, when I paste the formula from this cell into the dialog box, it'll be just like the parallel situation over here. Alt O D, new rule, formula, Control V. Create some format. Color. Click OK, click OK, click OK. So there we go. Um, and now, the cool thing about this is um, we have our defined names, right? So it's looking over at the right sheet. And these cell references right here are to straight A1C4. So watch this. We can actually use the format painter for our conditional formatting. The setup is exactly the same on our next sheet. So I'm just going to use the format painter. I have it up here, actually. But and then I'm very carefully going to come over here and highlight. Okay, And I clicked and dragged. Let me do that again. When you go like this, right, you see that paintbrush? Come over here. I see the paintbrush. I'm going to click and drag. I don't let go until I get it all highlighted, and then boom. Now let's try it. Change this to married. Oh, I'm sorry. Change this to married. And then now this uh, table two is uh, getting that number, but not this one. You know, I have the wrong numbers in this table. Let's see, eight. I'm the t I have the wrong tax numbers there. I'm going to copy from the answers. Copy this, Control C. I did the right click there. Uh, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste as values only. So I can do that, or I can do right click V, right click key. There's a right click key, yes, between the window and Control. Right click V is paste uh, values only. All right, so that's the right tax. So now when I go back to single, I better get 15. And there I do. When I change it to 3 and uh, 622.5, I better come over here. There I got the right column there. I change it to married. Obviously, some of these tables can get a lot bigger than uh, these. All right, so that's conditional formatting across speech. If you're curious, I have done other videos on how to 
to do tax calculations like this, but uh, so that's a little bit about conditional formatting cross sheets when you have criteria in one sheet and you want to apply conditional formatting on other sheets. See you next video.